is Serafina. Uh, welcome to your 2018 April uh, tarot reading. And I am a Pisces sun, a Pisces ascendant. It's in between Pisces and Aquarius, but I resonate more with a Pisces ascendant. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that I have a Pisces ascendant. Uh, Pisces Venus and a Pisces Mars. This is going to be a video for a Pisces Sun, Ascendant, Moon, Venus, and Mars. Um, and I'm trying to energetically pick up on as many Pisces as I possibly can. If it resonates with you, that's fantastic. If it doesn't, just take what applies, let everything else fly. And if you don't like the future, if you don't like what it says, the future is moldable, it's changeable. Um, you, you are the creator of your own destiny. So if you don't like it, that's why you get a tarot reading so you can change it. You know what's going on, you can change it. So let's get started with um, our <laughs> 2018 April tarot reading. So uh, Pisces of the world, <laughs> what is presently affecting you. It's presently affecting Pisces. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. The Seven of Swords in the reverse is being um, Breaking habits. Breaking habits. It could be with an Aquarius. It's breaking bad habits. This crossing. Pisces in the present. I have the Five of Swords. So I'm showing us uh, some conflict, tension. I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling drained. A betrayal. I'm seeing a betrayal of some sort. You feel betrayed. In the past, what is causing whatever's going on? Pisces. Not seeing what you have, being very apathetic, looking, looking out, looking, looking beyond. Um, we have we have the four of cups. So um, just apathy. There could be some obesity here, some issues with your weight. I also have the Knight of Cups, which is all about conquering. Um, he's the knight in shining armor. He's very uh, uh, romantic, charming. He's prince charming. He says everything right. He could also be a little narcissistic. That's very you. I'm showing you the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Capricorn, Taurus, um, or Virgo. And with the Nine of Cups, we have um, some sort of comfort, being very comfortable, uh, going out, drinking. You could have had some swollen feet, uh, feeling very abundant. Prosperous. And the Seven of Pentacles is sitting there, and you're waiting for things to grow. You're waiting for um, some sort of 
profit on your investment. You're feeling a little depressed. Because things aren't growing as fast as you want it. How does Pisces see themselves? You see yourself as the Six of Swords in the reverse. So you see yourself as um, carrying baggage, as um, having poor communication, blocks in communication, some delays in travel. What's coming towards Pisces in April of 2016? What's coming towards Pisces in April? The four of swords in the reverse. So um, burnout, lack of progress, progress, being restless. A Libra, very being very tired. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Getting a lot of air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is Pisces' biggest fear? In Ace of Wands in the reverse. Confusion, lack of clarity, chaos. Things not manifesting, no uh, romance, no passion. How do people view Pisces? The Two of Swords in the reverse. So they're viewing you as confused, indecisive, overloaded. Um, the Six of Wands. So they're viewing you as um, self confident, progressive. The Four of Pentacles, there's a secret card, Ooh. Four of Pentacles in the reverse, so they're seeing you as greedy, materialistic, could be Capricorn energy there. And then we have the Knight of Swords, so uh, depressed and anxious. So yeah, people are viewing you in a pretty bad light. I also see the tower, somebody who's like suddenly things just happen to them, uh, very disastrous. People are viewing you as having a lot of disasters. What did this Pisces wish for? The Page of Cups. It's somebody who's very uh, curious, energetic, speaking to relays messages. Um, Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Getting it in touch with your inner child. Pisces. What's going to be the outcome for Pisces?
death. This is good. Death is good. It's change. Transformation could be a Scorpio. Um, death of ego. New endings bring about new beginnings. So something is ending. And it should. And it's supposed to. It's supposed to. So then you can have new beginnings. Is it ending with? Um, the Wheel of Fortune. Be a fire energy, a uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Le Le um, Leo. Curveballs, karma. Life's throwing you some curveballs. It's good. Whatever this is, it's good. I'm seeing it more with a uh, earth sign, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, because as we can see how this is laying, death is looking right at the pentacle, which would be the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Could it be ending with a water sign too? Or an air sign? I don't see so much a fire sign. Yeah, you're not communicating with this person anymore. You're definitely not communicating with them anymore. You've cut off communication with them. You cut it off swiftly. And it is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You're not even going to look at him. You don't see all of the abundance that you have. You have more abundance than what you know. He's okay. He's, he's walking away. He's walking away slowly and emotionally, but he's walking away. You're afraid that it's not going to end with um, a new beginning. Some sort of change is going to come and Causes a lot of anxiety, feeling left out in the cold. But you'll be victorious. You're going to come out of this. You're going to come out of this very, very victorious. You're going to come out of it very strong, very victorious. And uh, you're going to know exactly what direction to go to. You're going to know exactly what direction to go to. You're not going to battle. You're going to go outside. You're going to get some sunshine. You're not going to fight. You're prepared to fight, but you're not going to fight. You're not going to put in the fight. You're not going to put in the fight. You're going to break free. It's your decision. You see that it's your decision. You're breaking free. You're not going to let him hurt you. You're putting your... You're putting your swords down. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get into this twist with the uh, earth sign. It's not worth it. You are going to grow a garden. You are going to enjoy spring. You are going to plant. You are going to harvest. Um, you're going to get the fruits of your labor. You're going to be um, very abundant. You decided to cut off this communication. It was your decision. And you cut off communication with an earth sign. A uh, Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. You want it over. You want it ended. You want this dead. You did wish for a child. 
you did have emotions for this person. You did love this person. You did send messages. You did receive messages. Um, but you decided that you're sick of being left out in the cold with this person. And you were sick of the anxiety, so you decided that there was going to be the sudden change. And you are still worried that it's going to end with just nothing, nothing but fluid. Protection, you need some protection to protect yourself. Swans mate for life. They never cheat. That's what you want. Protect your heart. Protect your heart. Well, that's it, Pisces. I hope that it resonated with you. Have a good April.